This lighting sucks. Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Sorry that the lighting's really ugly. Uh, daylight savings is over now, so it gets dark really early. And behind me just isn't a vibe anyway, so. Jessie's playing Red Dead. Charlotte's there too with her ketties. And Annie is right next to me doing her makeup as well. So today what I'm going to be doing is, I've never actually done it before, so we're going to do it together. We're going to be trying to achieve that like fox eye look. I've been seeing a lot of girls do tutorials, so now I'm going to try and do my own. All I'm going to be using today is a face defuzzer because I'm going to be shaving the ends of my brows off, I think. I'm going to be trying to. I haven't actually used this before. Revlon just sent it to me this week. Obviously used for face defuzzing, but I'm going to be trying to use it as a shaver because I don't want to put an actual shaver shaver near my eyebrows because I don't know how the heck you would control where you're going with that. And then I'm going to be using a brow pencil, benefits precisely my brow, to draw on the new tails of my brow. I'm going to be using Tartlet in Bloom. This has some really nice contour shades in it to try and like reshape my eyeball. A liquid eyeliner. This is Fenty's Fly Liner. A glow pencil. This is Mecha Max's Starlit. And then mascara. Too Faced Damn Girl. So let's go, go on in. Let's just do it. Okay. So if you hear any sounds in the background, that's just Jesse playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Xbox. I've got a bit of eczema in my hairline right there, so if it gets a bit crusty, that's what's going on. We really want to get the face to just look snatched and up like that. So we want to create space, a lot of space between your eye and your brow. I really just kind of want to take off that bit, the strays. And then I can kind of just pretend my brow is more straight. Okay, we're going in. I'm just gonna go like this and just see if anything happens. Taking my skin off. I don't wanna tweeze. Oh, that's actually great for precision. Oh, that's I have another one. But mine will probably kill you, so. What? But it's up to you, because you're shaving your brows. No, I'm not shaving them. Um. I'm shaving and not tweezing. You can tweeze if you want, but your hair might not grow back. You know how sometimes that happens? All right, I'm really going in and my brow hairs are coming off. I'm going to my stash. Oh yes, can I please use it, Aki? Uh -huh. Wow, I'm already feeling so much foxier and lifted on that side than I am on this side. Oh yeah. Foxy queen. <laughs> Mom, I'm shaving my eyebrows off. Just the ends. Oh, whoopsie. I just accidentally gave myself a slit. <laughs> I keep thinking it's like a spoolie, so I keep nearly going like this. I'll have no eyebrows. All right, so I think that'll do for now. As you can see, there's a lot of hair that's gone. Cover that bit of bald skin. Don't eat it, girl. Alright, so that's my new brow before I filled it in. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the right. Shit. You look like Spock. Now. Yeah, I do look like Spock, but that's that's the ideal. I do want to look like Spock. Lots of lid space. Yeah, this is very Spock style. Yeah. Oh shit. So now we're gonna draw our new brow shape on. We are just gonna pretty much keep it straight. Don't try to create an arch, just keep it straight. Come here, Daddy. Alright, so that's my new brow. Yeah, I'd like my brows to look like that. I feel very alive. And I'm just going to quickly put some brow gel through these. Oh, I've been filming for 15 minutes. Bitch, get a grip. Wow, this is so crazy. Alright, <clears throat> moving on from the corrosion. I'm going to pop this oh. under my brow because I want to look as lifted as pos. Okay, so with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Smarty Pants. It's pretty nude, basic, chill shade. And I'm just going to circle that on the outside for now and kind of, I guess, run it, run it through the crease. I'm going to grab more of that shade and I'm really gonna drag it out to my eyebrow. Now I've got a perfectly hairless face. Mm. Just keep blending that out so that it doesn't look too harsh. 
And I'm just going to deepen up my lower lash line a little bit, just the outer third as well, and join that to the wingy, flicky bit, you know? We're trying to narrow and elongate the eye, so. Elongate? Yeah. Now, I'm going to go into the shade Rebel, which is actually a bit warmer than I would like, but that's fine. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing as I just did. Like, really kind of focus on that outer V, deepening it up, and then winging it out. Okay, so that is that so far. I'm just going to go into the shade Leader, which is like a darker version of Rebel, and I'm just going to place that along the lower, la I mean, the just that outer corner bit a little bit. And then flick it out. Like that. Just add a little bit of extra, like, shadowing and depth, you know. Soften it up again. Make sure all the colours are blended. I'm just going to kind of do that thing where I line my inner corner. I've actually never done this. I'm a bit nervous. The eyeliner's failing me a little bit. Okay, guys. I'm just going to go and get my gel eyeliner. I'm going to try again with this gel liner. This brush is pretty fat. You need thinner one? Oh, okay. Okay, so I kind of had to... Create a new inner line, I mean, inner corner there. And now I'm just going to, I'm not going to line the whole way. I'm just going to take the liner to there. And then I'm just going to line the outer third. And then wing it out. I'm kind of going to start the wing before the corner of my eye actually starts, if that makes sense. Because then there's no, like, droopiness or anything like that. A hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. All right, so that is this side done. So now I just have to put some mascara on and then I will show you what I do with the lashes and then I'm going to come back with the other eye done so you can see how my eye shape has transformed. Even, the, like, you can just see how much... Sorry. Oh, that's lit. I wish I had that the whole time. Yeah, you can really see already how much narrower and, like, just different it's made my eye shape look. And I'm going to kind of make all of my lashes go to the side as well. And just put a tiny bit on my lower lash line. For lashes, I've got these Quartz Beauty, and I don't think that it actually is the style Amethyst, but that is a good lash brand anyway. I'm actually gonna cut them in half because I only wanna put lashes on my outer corner. <laughs> You're in the background, animal cruelty. All right, let's just let that dry. My lash glue is pretty much dry. You can see now this looks so much narrower and longer. I think that we have got the desired look, honestly. I'm going to do the other one off camera and then I will come back to you. All right, guys, I'm done. I can't believe it. It looks so good. It's not like no makeup makeup, though. Like, it did take a little while to get here. I just can't believe it. I feel like the shape of my eyes has changed. So I will put a little side-by-side -side thing right here now. If I can find a clip of my yes, old eyes. Do. I'm going to sign off now. I hope that this video was informative and helped you a little bit. But honestly, I'm so excited about my new brows. I love them. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye. Bye.